I got one whole verse for you this morning. Y'all ready? Here we go. Psalms 27. Uh, you know this started in the garden. This started in the garden because, you know, Adam received the word. And by the way, ladies, I blame Adam. You got the word, sir. You heard the word. He was walking with you in the cooler today. If she truly were, hit me, hit me well, ladies. If she truly was the weaker vessel, then why don't you stand up and be strong in that moment? That's my, that's my position, and I'm sticking to it. Just between me and you, if I be so graced to make it to heaven and Adam's there, we're going to have to have a side conversation. Bruh. Bruh. That might be the whole conversation because I'm going to be ready to praise, but just real quick. Hold Bruh. We must be prayerfully assured that adversity doesn't impede our expectancy. Watch the test because David is speaking from experience and expectation. And that's where our praise got to come from. It's got to come from experience and expectation. I want you to consider this, that it took David nearly 15 years between commission and coronation. He was somewhat hidden initially. You know, behind that mountain. Isn't it something that all the other brothers were soldiers? But he found himself on the low end of the totem pole, being a shepherd. And sometimes when you're on the low end of the so-called totem pole, or when you're in the background of the family, nobody expects anything out of you. And it's like the prophet got called. Y'all know the story. The prophet got called and he was looking at everybody else. He said, is there another? And isn't this something, and this is why we have an issue trying to figure out what the relationship was with David and his father. Because it's almost like he has to remember that he has another son. Oh, we all get excited about groundbreaking. When something's groundbreaking, it's new. And then on the other end of the spectrum, there's harvest time. Oh, Lord, the church love harvest time. Oh, uh, until they realize how hard harvest time really is. What if I told you harvest time was your season to get picked on? But we get excited because, because we got groundbreaking and then we got fruit taking. But there's this in-between time. I call it the meantime. We spend more time in the meantime than any other time. You sow just a couple days. You harvest maximum a week or two. But that meantime could be months. If it's certain trees, it could be years. And it's the day-to-day -day operation. Just cultivating. And cultivating takes patience. What could have isn't. What might have didn't. What would have ain't. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It doesn't need further explanation because it doesn't exist. Now I'm about to unveil the rest of this to you, but can you take a moment before I do so? And does anybody have an unless praise? Oh boy, that's a two-fold way to it. I would that you really hurt. Let that word hit you. I said an unless phrase. Oh, if you pity patty, you done missed the point already. I said an unless phrase. <laughs> 